what is the proper way of pooping in the woods or even the desert? There are a lot of different opinions on this subject and various rules and regulations and even problems in places where there are too many people recreating. So we really wanted to get to the bottom of it. So we decided to ask some questions to Packed Outdoors, experts in the field of poop, to get a scoop on where and where not to poop. We also hear about Packed's technology that is helping break down poop faster while also killing bacteria that endangers wildlife and waterways. So let's dig into it. I'm Noah Shum, uh, Packed Outdoors founder, and we're here in beautiful Crested Butte, Colorado. Packed Outdoors, uh, we are the makers, designers, builders of all-in-one bathroom kits for your outdoor adventures. My co-founder is uh, Jake Thomas, and he happens to be my brother-in-law as well, married to my sister. Motivation for starting Packed, it was there were many, many things that really came from that. We, we always joke when we're talking about this, like we didn't choose the poop game, the poop game chose us. And we were kicking around the idea. So Jake's a climber and, and I'm more of a backcountry backpacker, hunter, fisher. And uh, one day he, he called me and he was like, how do, you, how do you carry your poop out of the woods? And I was like, what? And he was like, well, you know, he's a climber. So they're always in the same area. They're in the same spot. You know, same rock, and he was just noticing it was being, getting to be a worse and worse problem. Using the not only that the wag bags, but it was also the human waste around the trailheads or campsites, and and he was just unsatisfied with what was there. And I was like, you know, I'm not really interested in wag bags because I'm always in the back country. I'm not interested in carrying it out right now. But one thing we noticed is that it was a blank space. You'd go into an REI or your local gear shop and you'd look at the wall for bathroom or hygiene, and it was maybe four little rolls of toilet paper and you know something clever, and it was like, holy cow, we have gear for everything we do in the outdoors, from you know cooking to sleeping, uh, first aid, hygiene, all of it, and there was nothing for something that we do every day in the, in the back country. And so we kind of sat on that idea for a while, and that's really where it shows us you know, as the pandemic started picking up and people started getting outside, we noticed that articles would pop up. You know, The Guardian, um, you know, Colorado Times or Daily, it'd be, we're having a poop problem in the backcountry. And so it just kept hitting us being like, hey, there's something better out there. And that kind of started us on that journey. So interestingly enough, uh, we moved up to Crested Butte uh, during um, COVID. We didn't know anybody. I went down to Western University and they have the incubation lab, the ice lab down there. And they had a coffee with coworkers and the gentleman who runs the ice lab was like, oh, we have a Moose Jaw outdoor accelerator competition. And you know, winners get to get their product into Moose Jaw. And I was like, well, I have an idea. And he was like, well, doesn't sound like you're far enough along. We kind of like, and I was like, I, I love kind of that challenge and needed that kick in the pants. And that was really it as being like, we had then a deadline. We had to, right now we had one idea on a piece of toilet paper basically. And we had to get it to like something that was a tangible product for this accelerator. And basically in 10 weeks, we went from that design to, you know, uh, 3D renderings and we built a website and we were just really flying by the seat of our pants. I mean, early, early things are like, what do we do? Do we do a toilet paper or wipes? Or like, how do we do, uh, you know, what's the shovel look like, how, you know, but we never had that, that barrier, and that's really what we were working on next. And as I walk you through the kit, that'll probably be the fun piece. It's anybody can make a poop kit, and we do. We call it the home hack. Uh, everybody has their gallon Ziploc bag with toilet paper and their hand sanitizer, but, but like there's, there had to be something else there. What made us special or unique? And that was really like how, how PAC then kind of took that next step and, and became an award-winning product. So before Noah gets into what's in the packed kit, I just wanted to let everybody know that this video is supported in part by Surly Bikes. Surly, they make serious steel bikes for people that don't take themselves too seriously. They make bikes that are versatile and durable, that can be dressed up 
or down for commuting, bikepacking, ATBing, gravel grinding, or really whatever you call fun on two wheels. With 15 original dirt-friendly platforms, they offer something that fits just about anyone for any style of riding. So for more about Surly, make sure to click this card right here. And I also have a link in the description below. So here's the packed kit. Uh, we wanted something that was grab and go, lightweight, easy for people to use. So one, one thing when we did a survey of all users were, what are ex people experiencing in the backcountry? And during the survey, it was always, you know, there was a lot of intimidation and fear about pooping in the backcountry. It was like, am I doing it the best way? Do I have what I need? Am I always prepared? And so that was where a grab and go solution was really important to us. Something small, glove box, any backpack kit, hang from a tree, lay flat. And so it started with the basics. Uh, we started with the shovel, completely redesigned. This shovel has a better grip pattern. That's really different. A lot of the shovels you see on the market are a stamped aluminum. This one's easy to grip and then gives you that six inch mark. Really important to get down there um, deeper in the soils, especially in, here in Colorado. Sometimes it's tough with the rocky soil. So that was the first piece is like, hey, let's re redesign the shovel to make it easier to dig. Uh, the second piece you see obviously is hand sanitizer. Cool story on this one. This is the heads and tails from a gin distiller here on Western Colorado. Um, so they make gin, but they can't use the heads and tails and so we, we capture that, it's a hand sanitizer, uh, pretty amazing. It does have a little gin, gin smell to it, so that's pretty fun. Uh, top pocket, we wanted to design so you can store anything else you wanted, uh, but we do have a pack it out bag in here for any micro trash that you don't wanna use. And then one of the big pieces was the how to infer card. So it's what's in your pack kit and then how to do your uh, business in the outdoors that follows the leave no trace practices as well as just some best practices and tips overall. So the, the idea again was to be able to hand somebody this kit, have them be able to walk into the backcountry and know what they were doing. Um, because we, we hear that a lot of people aren't malicious or trying to pollute the backcountry, but they're just underprepared or, or not knowledgeable. And then the two special pieces that, you know, store into these two pockets are packed wipes. So packed wipes are little wipes that are compressed, dehydrated, and biodegradable. So when you add a little bit of water to them, and I can do that now, they unfold into a nine inch towel, really thick, really robust. So if you look at this here, just a tiny little bit of water, which we all have kind of in the back country, and then you unfold that towel. It's pretty awesome. It's thick, tough, so really nice, and, and it's nice, you know, toilet paper wasn't really designed for the backcountry. And then the second piece is, this is really where the technology came in and really where the innovation of like, hey, we are, we are creating a better system in the backcountry. These are called pack tabs. These are little inoculated tabs with mycelium. Mycelium is the root system of fungus and, and we call it nature's great decomposer. And so what you do is you throw three pack tabs in the hole and it'll help break down waste faster and also reduce pathogens like E. coli. So we saw a 66% uh, reduction in pathogens in two to four weeks uh, when, when in introducing mycelium to it. It's native, it's non-aggressive. Um, so a lot of the questions you get, mycelium is really different uh, where people are like, well, what am I throwing in the ground? Is this okay? This is not a plant. This is not something like a zebra mussel that we're introducing. This is across a wide range of bioregions in the US. So best practices when pooping in the woods, there's a bunch of stuff you wanna look at. You wanna look at something with sun exposure. You, you know, the darker the soil, we always say the more bioavailability. And what that does with our mycelium and actually wet wipe that we encourage you to throw in the hole because it's a battery for the mycelium, it's cellulose, so it'll jump right to that and then to the waste. But all of that is to say, like, what you're looking for is, is high nutrient content, so, like, it can break down waste faster. So that's best practices is always to be 200 yards from any water source, uh, pick a nice spot, obviously decent view, six to eight inches deep, because, again, you want to make sure you're down there where kind of like that bioavailability kicks up and, and starts the breakdown process faster. And then, um, you know, as, as far as anything else, it's just covering it 
typically like you'll see some things where like people will say, I like to turn over a rock or, or turn over a, a tree root or something. That's, that's okay, but usually it's best to just cover in soil to where it can get some rain on it, some sun exposure to kind of keep everything going as well. We encourage you to pack out your poop anywhere, one where it's required. Pack is not a solution for, for that. Like you still have to pack out where regulations require you to. So locally here, we'll say like Conundrum Hot Springs, perfect example. It's too many people. Um, it's, it's too consolidated, and so packing out your waste is required. Other things to look for to pack out your waste, again, is, is there any plant or, or undergrowth anywhere? If there is not, you should absolutely pack out. It, it, human waste will just petrify in a very sandy environment. Above tree line, it's a very delicate ecosystem. You should pack out there as well. And then as mentioned, anywhere in a river basin or when you're traveling by, you know, rafting, canoeing, uh, make sure you're packing out in there as well. We don't cover peeing too much. Uh, you're, you're correct, there is many standards for peeing. Like, it's funny, I was just on a river trip and they're like, pee right in the river, which feels very counterintuitive. Um, you know, obviously above tree line, they encourage you to pee on rocks so that that can um, just evaporate off. So there, there's pieces like that. I, I would say we're not really the P experts on that, but uh, we try to do the best we can on some of those pieces. Uh, you can find PAC products uh, directly from us, packedoutdoors.com. You can also shop around Moose Jaw uh, carries packs, so that's an easy one that distributes nationally. Uh, some of your local gear shops here in Colorado will have them, your specialty retail, and, and look for us in some of the bigger big box stores in 2023. Well, new products coming through Pact. We do have two products launching in 2023. Uh, one, is, one is a backpacker kind of lighter weight version. So you lose some of the elements, you know, of having a bag, but it's, it's, uh, it's a little smaller, easier for all the weight weenies out there. And then we are working, we've actually uh, have a grant with Brooks Running Company and we're working on a trail running model. So single serve, something smaller takedown product that incorporates both mycelium and wipes into both those products. And then the long-term vision is just continuing to expand. Like we really want to make hygiene in the backcountry better practices with better products. And so you can look for you know, packed working through all of that in the, in the coming years. Yeah, uh, you can find us on Instagram at Packed Outdoors. Um, we have a Facebook, but I have no idea how it's doing. Yeah, um, and that's about it. No TikTok yet, we're too old for that. We, they, it's missed us, that, that boat has sailed.